Thanks. An Ottawa business is booming thanks to the public's craving for organic goodies. News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas joins us now to show us how loader bars are made in our hometown. Kim and Drew, for owner Norma Maloney, going organic isn't just a way to cash in on the all-natural craze. It's a calling from a higher power. Comfortably, I can make about 450 bars a day. You know, and that's just making. Norma Maloney spends her days baking her customers an organic boost. So a, we took up cycling when we were living in Canada, and uh, we had a basic recipe just for energy food for the ride. So I was making these um, since 1995. It was in 2006 that my daughter came back from a, um, an aerobic conference and she said you should really seriously think about doing your energy bars as a business. Her load of bars are loaded with organic ingredients. The dates, the organic gluten-free oats, the nuts, almonds, walnuts, cashews. Held together with brown rice syrup, all certified gluten-free, yeah. vegan and non-GMO. A status Norma sought before its sales soared. At the time I started, it wasn't as popular, but I knew that that was coming. So, um, so I was ahead of the game. And now we see that you know more and more people are turning to organic. And um, you know, as they say, it's you you pay now or you pay later. Once the sheet of bars is shaped, it's a rough, rugged bar. It's not your typical smooth cookie cutter looking bar. It's time for a quick trip to the oven and then a dose of fair trade chocolate. It's not only nutritious, it's very delicious. Each bar is weighed and then sent just across the kitchen to packaging. It's kind of, you know, exciting like nobody on this aisle knows, but I did that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Deborah Elmore picks up the second half of production. When we package these, we know that without ever seeing these people, we're touching another person's life. They're being benefited physically. You know, they may be being benefited in other ways that we don't know. All carrying the name that Norma says had little to do with her. Actually, I did not come up with the name. The name was given to me. This, this is a God-given assignment, and the name was given to me. With a biblical story behind the brand, and a capital A for Almighty. Norma says her growing business is proof that finding your calling is always a possibility. It's just a, a dream. It's sometimes you, wow, I can't believe this, you know. But it, it really humbles you because I realize that this is not me. You know, this is something bigger than, than me. And uh, it's just a joy that seeing people liking it. You can find Loda Bars at Whole Foods, several airports, as well as health food stores across the region. And Maloney's also excited about expanding her brand to some local Milo stores.